For clarity, I can move this antibody backward so that we will know that we are talking of antigen here. Antibody. So we can now rule a table now successfully. I will use tick or wrong to show compa uh, compatibility of the blood. No, that was. I will explain that. Either a tick or a cross to show the compatibility of the blood. Now, this is what I mean. This is a donor. He wants to donate to this patient here. If this blood is transferred to the body of this person, could there be any problem? Answer is no. How do we say? How do we know? Because antibody is the instrument the recipient or the patient has to fight the antigen that is coming to his body. And antibody B cannot attack antigen A. So this blood transfusion will succeed. Now, look at it now. This person, the same person, if you want to donate blood to this person, which is having blood group B, this patient has antibody A in his cyst in his body. So if you are introduced antigen A to this person's body, the antibody will attack the antigen. Antibody A will attack antigen A. And there will be agglutination. That means they are not compatible. This same person, the A, if you, this patient wants his blood to be transfused into it, it can successfully transfuse blood to AB. Why? Because AB naturally has no antibody to attack any of the antigen. Therefore, the transfusion will be successful. This person that is having A antigen in his blood, that is blood group A, cannot transfuse his blood to a patient with O. The reason is because the patient with O group has antibodies A and B. So, antibody A will attack the antigen A and the blood will be agglutinated.